I got into music from a young age, listening to different collections from my father, you know, keeping things like um, records from King Sunny Ade, um, Wasu Ainde, you know, just classic fellas from back in the day, Fuji, Juju artists from our time. I spread love around the world, DJ, night in, night out, spreading music around the world, this African vibe, this, this spiritual vibe around the world. You know, once you're passionate about something, you definitely just just keep pushing on it. And I never stopped. So uh, my love for music. So I just kept that as my drive. Our generation being born and raised here, you know, and definitely having a bit of the African culture from home. You definitely get a mix of both sides. So I definitely always wanted to be versatile on the dance floor, giving the people different vibes in, in, in the segment, in the situation. I grew up, I can say I grew up with like a, an American accent because I was I was born and raised here. Before I went to, I got sent back home. I, I did school in Nigeria for about three years. I did JS1 to JS3 because supposedly I, I needed to go back home to learn culture. So that was a big move for me. Um, and I can say, you know, growing up in Brooklyn and being African and, you know, People weren't too like proud of the culture back then, you know, being called an African booty scratcher or like, you know, just different, different names that, you know, we didn't like. So I feel like now there's definitely light that's been shed on the continent and the culture and what we do. And, you know, Africa is now, Africa is beautiful. Africa is just, you know, it's the world, you know? So that's, that's what we push it now. So it's a beautiful thing today. I uh, looked up with Wish Kid in Nigeria. You know what I mean? We kicked it um, one night. Um, had a big, big conversation, and we just spoke about taking this this Afrobeat scene, this Africa scene, to to the world. You know, and it's since then it's been beautiful. You know, rocking different stages from from countries to countries and it's, it's cities to cities. It's been it's been wild, man. The whole Star Boy movement is crazy, and it's more to come. The Blackout is, is, a, is a very big annual Afrobeat event that I do out here in the East Coast, New York. Um, it's an all-black event, just capturing all cultures, capturing, you know, all melanin, you know, all music and bringing it to the people all in one night, Black Friday. So it's been a theme I've been doing for four to five years now, and it's an annual thing. And it's been beautiful just seeing different, different people together, you know, and spreading the culture through the music. Love. Love. Let's spread love. That's what we're here for. That's it. DJ Tunes, One Tribe Magazine. Spread love. Let's go. Just two more. Damn, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Shut it, we're a million dollars. <laughs>